everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley, where we are still plucking right through the fall season. There's Robin working on our new cellar on the outside of our house. Um, enclosed a recipe. Yay! Oh, more mail. Uh, picked up a recipe overseas. Enjoy. Thanks for making me feel welcome. Oh, that's so nice of him. This is why you give gifts to people. They send you recipes that I then ignore. Because <laughs> I, I rarely ever cook. I mean, I store stuff here. I should... I can do a maki roll. I could make an ice cream. Um, a fish taco. Fish stew. Escargot. Pale broth. Autumn's bounty. Cranberry sauce, I know, is a new one. Which requires a cranberry and sugar. Let's go make one. Because <laughs> I can. Oop. I didn't even like, look at what it gives you. Oh, plus two mining. Sweet, we should take that mining with us. Alright. Now let's actually... Go ahead and... Oh, we pulled up a yam as well. So I need more seeds again. We didn't even finish, like with yesterday, we didn't replant everything. I didn't buy enough seeds. Um, so that's unfortunate, but... It is what it is. I believe yesterday I planted lots more pumpkins again because they're a really good source of uh, income. There we go. This is a dead plant, isn't it? Yeah, it's a dead plant. Dead plant's probably been hiding there all season and you notice I thought it was a regular plant. That's just annoying. I could make so many cranberry sauces if I had a lot of sugar. I don't know if there's a way to make sugar. Uh, I don't recall. Hey, look, we have a dead plant here, too. Look. It was right there. All these dead plants hiding. Okay, that bok choy has probably been ripe for a really long time because I have not planted bok choy in a while. Um... But yeah, we actually have a really good harvest today. All the cranberries coming up at once. Alright. You can see all my new pumpkin plants right up there. Interspersed with the uh, cranberries. We'll get those towards the end of the season. The one lonely corn plant up here. I hear you animals. Don't worry, I'm going to feed you and stuff. Well, actually, you're fed already. Because I have an automatic thing for that. But I'm going to tend to you and g give you attention. So do not fear. So. We're going to have a cellar. It's going to be amazing. Alright, I want to take... I had... Um, milk. I want that. We have enough stuff, I think, for the... The thing. I'm going to put it in here. Because there's something that you could make with a large milk. Okay, and now I'm just... I'm missing the sugar for the ice cream. Um, so I'm out of that. Plus, milk is something that should go in the refrigerator anyway. Just saying. I've cooked a bunch of stuff. I should, I don't know, give some of it to people as gifts or something. Alright, everybody come here and I will give you all pets. Don't escape. Escaping is bad for everybody's health. Because if you escape, then I can't find you. 
I honestly wonder if you don't build a fence, like, if they come back to the coop every night anyway to sleep, or if they could, like, run away and then you'd never find them again. I'd be interested to know. So, if anybody knows, they should tell me. <laughs> Alright, you other animals. Okay, I swear my goats, like, never have milk. Like, just to be annoying. No, I'm trying to milk the cow, not the pig. No, cow, come here. Nutella, why? Hello, other goat. You have milk. Good, other goat. Okay. There we go. I was like, I'm pretty sure I missed one of the cows. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. All right. Off to get some seeds. We're out of sunflowers to give us presents. Has a new week started? I don't think so. Okay, we can still give gifts to Lewis and a few people. So... I'm just going to go right in here and grab these 217 blackberries. Oh yeah, I'm also supposed to play with the child. Because I, I, we have like that social thing with him now too. And he was at one heart. But like he slept for like the first like month of his life, so I don't know what he was expecting. That, I guess, would be a lot easier on parents, though. Like, imagine if your kid just slept through, like, the first month of their life. And then, like, then they were annoying. Alright, Alex is not here. Which is sad. Can I give her a present, even though she's, like, working? Oh, Alex is outside lifting weights. Look at him over here. I'm going to get a bunch of exercise. I love living on the farm. Okay. So he has, like, a recreation, like, thing over there. I was wondering what that spot was for. I think it was added with the new update. Uh. Boop. Boop. Alright, but yes, we need to buy seeds. So let's do that before I forget. That'd be embarrassing. Oh. Story time. Another beautiful day in Pelican Town. Oh, look at the rainbow birds. They're so cute. My friends! <laughs> Oh no! Your wing's broken. You're a bit different than the others, just like me. Don't worry, I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be alright. Okay. Emily has adopted a rainbow bird. She didn't give the bird a name. Okay. Why am I being told that she didn't give the bird a name? Like, why, why is that important? Who's in here? Is Maro in here? Is Harvey in here? Because, like, I never see Harvey. It's hard to give him gifts when he's never around. Here you go. So I need to start like just going in there and bothering him so that we can all be bestest friends forever. Abigail. Oh, I didn't know it was your birthday. And also blackberries are delicious. So stop being a butt. Pretty sure Abigail hates me now.
Yeah, Abigail's not too big of a fan of us. All right, let's plant. 13 days. We can still plant pumpkins. Okay, I think 30 will be enough. All right, let's go around and give presents to everybody. I know some people don't like foraging things as presents. Ah, this is the problem when you give so many gifts. You have limits. Why are you limiting me spreading kindness? Here you go. I don't know where the other one is. I don't remember her name. His wife, though. I don't know where she is. Alright, let's head back to the farm. We'll plant the seeds. Emily has had an interesting storyline so far, though. Like, what we found out. It's all been very different. But I guess they are trying to say, like, Emily is really different. Why is this not... No. Another dead plant. Where are all these dead plants coming from in my not-dead... Like, they shouldn't be dead. Is there just, like, a chance now that they'll randomly die? Okay, there are plants here. Alright. There we go. It looks good to me. We used most of the seeds. Oh, Alex is now inside. Because we need to, you know, keep my relationship with him. Alex, go play with the baby. Make him like us more. Because I have stuff to do that's more important than doing this all day. Plus, it makes my thumb hurt. Like, can we, like, take the baby for a walk? And then I can do, like, everything I'm supposed to do. Oh, hey, look, batteries. Batteries and mayonnaise. And also cheese. So in a couple of days' time, we'll have a cellar. And that'll be interesting, because I don't really know what to do with a cellar. I mean, it says it's for, like, brewing stuff, so I might just move all of my kegs down there. Maybe we'll make more kegs? If we have the space, because, like, the reason I haven't put more in there is because they'd get annoying. Do we have anything in here yet? Oh, we do. Sweet. That's pretty awesome. All right. Now we can go back to clearing out the farm. Um, because we need to. We need to get that, uh, foraging experience. I'm determined! Plus, also, at some point, I may want to expand my farm. I haven't fully decided if I want to yet or not. But, like, imagine if we actually cleared out, like, all the space and we, like, used all of the farm. I... For that, though, I'd want there to be, like, something that, like, collected the food for you, the farming stuff, like, automatically, because I can't imagine, like, going around collecting the food from more than what we already have going, and we probably have a lot more if we expanded, because I'm like, I would love to have, like, a fully functional farm, but we'd spend, like, our whole day just harvesting and that just doesn't sound that entertaining to me. But maybe I'm just weird. I 
And I know the farm is gigantic. We use a very small percentage of it. So that was... We'd have a lot more money, although I don't really see an, a reason to have a lot more money right now. Like, we don't need it. Like, I already don't know what to do with the money I already have. I buy everything that I want as soon as I want it. Like, when I looked at the seller and it was 100000 I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Alright. We actually got a whole bunch of stuff here. I have heard that the update allows you to put honey in these. So I'm going to try it. You totally can. Sweet. You can make mead. At least I believe that's what said it would make. And that would make sense because mead is honey wine, I think. All right. There we go. Sell all that stuff. Come in here. What do I want to store? The wood and the sap. Actually, it's not nearly as late as I thought it was. I thought it was really late. Is this... What's on TV? Just the weather. Cloudy with gusts of wind. I mean, that's fine. I don't mind cloudy and gusty. I'd prefer rainy, though. I would always prefer rainy. There's actually a chance it's going to rain where I live today, and I'm, like, hoping that it does. Oh, wow, that tree just went down, like, really fast. I wonder if it was, like, an old tree or something. Because it just went down. All right, I got a mixed seed. So I think there was a spot that I could plant this. And if there was, I might as well plant it, right? Right there. Now it's after 10. Baby should be sleeping. He is. Look at him. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to do this or not. Like, this might be a glitch. And I have no idea if this helps with the uh, making him like you thing. I mean, the heart is appearing, so maybe... Oh, was Alex back up? Yay, Alex is back up at full hearts. Yeah, Michael's still only at one heart with us. So we really want him to be, you know, at, at better. Because maybe when he reaches, like, two hearts or something, he grows up? I don't know. But it would be cool if he weren't a baby and he was, like, someone you could interact with. I'm hoping that they eventually grow up. So that would just be nice. Alright, let's sleep. Yes! Okay. Foraged items are always highest quality. Ooh, location of forgeable items revealed. Kind of want tracker. Let's do that. Oh my god, we gotta level up for, like, the first time in forever. I'm so excited. It'll be interesting to see how Tracker works. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Stardew Valley here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.